my detective. Sad. This is the second TV detective to be killed in the last six months, Spanker. And so far, you haven't come up with anything. So what are you going to say for yourself? I remember when there were ships on the Tain. Look, Spanker. Little kids without shoes. Big ships. Spanker, I've had about enough of your northern nostalgia. With funnels on them. Ronnie! Sir! Ah, Ronnie. You got those forensic reports yet on that material we found? Um, the piece of material appears to be cheesecloth. Cheesecloth? Yes, sir. What, like in the 70s, cheesecloth? Yes, sir. Good. Alas, we're getting somewhere. What about the footprint we found outside the toilet? We made a cast of it and, uh, well, we reckon it's a man's boot, sir. Something like this. What is it? It's a 70s style stack heel platform boot. It's the sort of boot my uncle would have worn at the disco after a hard day's graft at the shipyard. A 70s style dress suggests a 70s crime. We need to get the old hands in. We need to get the stars of the 70s. What? Driving fast cars and shouting a lot? All that macho shite. Well, all your long pauses haven't got me anywhere. I've got a platform boot killer out there in a cheesecloth shirt who doesn't like TV detectives. Maybe you're right. Maybe you're not. Who we got? Uh, old Shout and George from the Weenie, sir. Get him. Who else? Bonehead and Foil. Sir. The bullshitters. Yeah, bullshitters. Bring him in. Sir. Bone and foil. The bullshitters. What's your problem, Granddad? You're my problem! Listen! Modern couples don't abandon their cars anymore! They park them in the spaces provided! They get out, central lock them, and behave like decent citizens who are there to stand up public! What's he talking about, Foil? I don't know. Ah, Bonehead. Foil, glad you could make it. You've heard the sad news about the gourmet detective? Yeah, sounds like he got his uh, just desserts. Nice line. Sound like a good show, though. Lots of great vegetarian dishes. I thought it was a bit gimmicky myself. Who's the hippie? Oh, uh, yes, this is um, Detective Inspector Dave Spanker. He's a 90s style detective. Ronnie, where's Shouting George from the Weenie? On his way in, sir. <laughs> Somebody to park my car. I don't need you or anyone to tell me where or when I can stick it. Got it? Got it? George, you met um, Bonehead and Foyle? Our barbs have grass gov. Look, let's get one thing straight. Nobody calls me gov. Why not? Because it's old fashioned. Who's the squatter? Friend of yours, Detective Inspector David Spanker. Shut up! Listen, Gov, I'm a ten gov a day copper, always have been, always will be. If you want me to work on this case, I'm going to be calling you Gov all day long. It's all I know and it's all you need to know. Gov! If he's calling you Gov, I'm calling you Gov too. Yeah, me. Not all coppers are Londoners, you know. Shut up! <laughs> Before our time, our heels were an inch lower. Yes, the very early 70s gov, sir. Even before my time, 71, 72. 71, 72. Who was there who was around at that time? There is a man, sir. Not my cup of tea. 71, 72, that was his manner. His name is Jason Bentley. Jason Bentley? Lace cuffs? Velvet flares? Moustache curly hair? 
Yes, Jason Bentley, Department Z. It's a big camp, isn't it, sir? Who cares, George? Just find him and listen, George. I want Jason in charge of this. You do it his way. It's his manner, it's his period, you understand? That means no guns, no shouting, and no fast cars. You do it his way. Minicab for the bullshitters. Minicab? Sod it. I want my car back. No cars, no gubs. I'm not having this. Yeah, well, at least we're back. I've never been a weir. I don't like him. You know that? He's got dandruff. You know that, mate? You've got dandruff. Are you listening, Derek? Uh, Twelve dozen loons, uh, gross of kipper ties, and blue shirts. Let's go. What do we got? Three foot of paper. Let's cross it. I'm there. And me. I'll take the flares. I'll take the loons. Cover me. Shut it! Flares are us. Sad southern bastards. Oh. And what can I fit you gentlemen up with? If there's any fitting up to be done, we'll do it. Nice line, George. Thank you. Ah, yes. I know who you are. You're the ones who took over from me when Crush Velvet became passé. Which is why we've come to see you. Ah. It's a 70s-style crime that needs a 70s-style investigation. Yeah, which apparently means not driving like a maniac, shouting, freeze! Yeah, it's better staring out the window all the time. Look, he's doing it again. I mean, what's he looking at? You do it your way, and I'll do it my way. There's only one way we're doing this, and that's his way! Which is? Well, it's very simple. I usually drive the Bentley to a large country house belonging to some mad, rich colonel. Whereupon I drink a bottle of claret, smoke 50 cigarettes, and have everyone arrested. Is that it? Occasionally, some naughty men walk by in silver spacesuits. You're fing mad. Let's go. Come on, mate! Oh, I just remembered no guns on this one. Gun across with the shooters, otherwise, I'm off the plot and you're out of the frame. Can't we just keep the bullets? Bag em! even play with them. Shut it! Apparently there's a new law coming out forbidding one to drink and drive. I think if that happens, I shall give up touring forever. What are you doing? I'm just trying to get some air. Yeah, well, we don't smoke. It's not bothering us. Haven't you ever heard of passive smoke? Shut up! Ah, this looks promising. There should be a country house coming up right. Ah, here it is. Nice to see so many berries in the hollow this year. Ah, yes. This looks very suspicious. Right, cover the manor! Cover the manor! Let's go! Southern you northern punks! Put another log on the fire, dear boy. Do it! Feel free to search the grounds. I have nothing to hide, you know. Indeedy, deedy. Do tell me. Don't you have a 19-year-old daughter with a miniskirt and too much makeup? Yes, I do. I thought so. But she lives in Kenya with an African prince. Any other questions? Yeah. What are we doing here? Cheers. Waiting for a mini moke to turn up. Mini moke. Mini skirt. Mini mouse. Uh, mini. Mini pencil. No, hang on. Mini. Mini sota. That's a good one. 
Money cab. Yeah, I can do with one of those. Just get me out of this shit. Eeny, meeny, miny, more. Eeny, meeny, miny, more. What's that? It doesn't begin with mini. You do it your way, and I'll do it my way. Listen, I've had just about enough of you, you lanky head, eeny, meeny, miny, mo moron mug. Shut up! Don't tell my mate to shut up. You want to make something of that? Yeah, come on. Right! right. Oi! What the hell do you think you're doing? I've got the top five TV detectives from the last 20 years, and never mind find the killer. You haven't even got a clue! Well, you told us to do it his way, and his way doesn't work. I was merely eliminating some early 70s suspects. All you eliminate was five bowls of claret. Why didn't you do it my way? Shut, Shut up. up! That's enough! Now, don't you know how serious this is? Because of the gourmet detective killing, every independent TV company is losing cop shows every day. They're scared, George. All the top TV cop actors are pulling out. Yeah. Look at this. The doll as dishwater detective. Hmm? 14 million viewers. Huge. Pulled. The actors run abroad. He's scared. Yeah. Detectives on the verge of a nervous breakdown. 14 one hours for Granada. Pulled. The actor won't even get out of bed. Scared. This one here. The whistling detective who lives on a barge. Won't even go into production. Now. Can you see what's happening, you idiots? If all the cop shows are taken off the TV, there'll be no more TV cops. Yes. Yes. Now do you see how serious it is? Yes, I do, Governor. I know exactly what you've got to do about it. Oh, yeah? And what do I have to do, George? Give us our heads. Get us back on the plot. What, you really think that mid-70s bullshit is going to help me? It's not mid-70s bullshit. It's that! Banging tables and shouting loudly. Yeah, shouting freezer tumbling. Quick one-liners. Diving on the floor. Drinking we villains in pubs. We're like your mates. Yeah, mate. Shouting cover me. What with? That's a good one-liner. Ah, which one I'll go back. Shut it! And it's being able to say gov as many times as I like. Gov! 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 All right. You got 48 hours. We're back! Who's back? We're back! Oh. Shut up, freeze, and cover me! Cover me and freeze! Shut up, freeze, and cover me! Cover me and freeze! Running around shouting! Calling all my nice girls love! Driving past my real big boy! My boss was always gone! No! Shut up, freeze, and cover me! Cover me and freeze! Shooting straight with a 38 Firing from your knees Your days are numbered, geezer You can't drive as fast as us See you in the East End drinker Catch up, f***ing bus Yo! What do you want, Jason? I thought I'd fired you. The lab reports. I was wondering if you mind lending them to me just for a few hours. All right. But try not to get any claret on them. Thank you. What's this? Phillips drinker. Duck. What are we doing here? I don't know. Cover me. See the bar over there? Very stressed maple. Reinforced beveling. Looks like it. Any glasses on it? Yeah, plenty. OK, let's go! A couple of baby shams, please. If you think you can serve baby sham in a gaff like this, you're wrong. This is a villain's pub, and I don't want a baby sham. What I want is respect. Tell Big Nobby I want to see him. Well, 
This must be the Lover Duck Club. All right. Are we the only ones here? A macho ganger in the toilet, sorting out their sexuality. Ah. Oh, this is shit. What are we doing here? Catching villains. Well, that's what George thinks. <laughs> he's still drinking. We shouldn't be here. We should be out storming embassies. Climbing chimneys. Yeah. Handbrake turns. Doing our own stunts. Shut up. Oh. Good detectives don't wash their hands. Waste time and film. Listen, I can wash my hands where and when I want. And right now, my hands need washing. Right? Oh, I'm sorry. There's no towel, for Christ's sake. Can't a copper dry his hands anymore. I've got wet hands here, and they need drying. This place is a bloody casting. Oh. What are you doing here? Thought you have been fired. This isn't your country club lounge, Bentley. I don't serve claret here. This is a villain's drinker. Now get. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Me, my little lots of curly hair with tucks outside his jacket. But he's got a hunch of gold. We scared you back it. Shut it! All right. What is it? I had the lab reports rechecked. I think I know who the killer is. On what grounds? The platform boots. It appears they're not the real thing. In fact, the test showed they were bought only three months ago in Newcastle. Spanker. Spanker? What are you trying to say? That I'm the murderer? Well, let's face it. Who had the most to lose? I would say it was someone whose future ratings were threatened by the gourmet detective. Wouldn't you? Joey's got the point, they got there really is no mystery. You and him and the boys in the bowl. Your old TV history. Indeed, indeed, indeed. We've had our time, we've done our bit, we had a great deal of fun. But for us, it's over. I'm glad things are moving on. But you know, really, is staring at the floor not combing your hair? Is that really progress? Everyone's next! I think I prefer our shouting gunman. What's the problem? Spanker, he was second boys, but a the passing chopper. Spanker's future was in doubt, so he killed the gourmet copper. I did it. I was jealous. But could I just have one last request? What? what? Could I just walk across the room slowly? And? Gaze at the floor. And? Not seeing very much. And? Run like hell. What? Boxes. Where? There. Oh, those boxes, file. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful, file. That's what you are to me. Beautiful. Shut it! They're coming back the other way, file. Back the other way, file. Oh, yeah! <laughs> Don't start. I don't think we've got the gearbox. <laughs> Come on, started. Foyle. It's sliding around. It's broken the gearbox. Well, you're the one who was driving it. <laughs> what do you want? I want to be Foyle. driving around in circles, Foyle, like that. Yeah, so do I. <laughs> Hello? Oh, take them on. No, I'm, I'm in the middle of a car chase at the moment. I'm just trying to lose a couple of has-been detectives from the 70s. Hello, Derek. How many loons have we sold today? That's not bad for a Wednesday, yes. I'm a 10 gun a day, copper! Gun, 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 gun! 
Uh, better order some pink cheesecloth as well. I'm doing a bit of business. I can't tell you what it is. It's a bit hushy hushy. Go and do it then. Go and join George. Well, I might just go and do that. All right. At least he's on the move. George! 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 You what? They've closed the shipyards. So this is it. You want to split up, do you? No, I didn't say I wanted to split up. Bonehead, you stopped. No more ships on the Tain. Let's go! I've got to go! Let's go, let's go, let's go! Let's go, take our trousers off! Where's all the wasteland and the disused factories, Foyle? Where's all the rusty girders? There, look, there's no puddles to run through! It's still like that up north, Bonehead! Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Cover me! Cover me! Let's go! 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 let us go you couldn't take the gourmet detective wearing your crown, stealing your thunder. We all had to take it, Spanker. We all had to accept our days were over. You couldn't. I'll take the high road. I'll take the low road. Let's split up. OK, let's go. Let's go. Go on, Spanker. Tell us about it. I never had your chances, George. George. What are you doing, Phil? I'm going to do some crawling. Where? Over there. Right, I'm going to do some over here. OK, let's go. Let's go! I wanted fast cars too. But I was ten years too late. All I got was marriage problems in a northern atmosphere. I had marriage problems as well, Spanker. But you know why I survived? By shouting! Yes, so did we! I had nervous tension as well. I didn't send people to sleep like you do. Yeah, by shouting, Governor! No, by doing this. It doesn't work anymore, George. This is reality. This isn't your pathetic shooter man at 100 yards, crap. The public won't wear it, George. Yes, well, I'm four feet away. Do you think they'll wear that? What are you going to do about it, old man? Well, I'm just going to clean this way, clean that way, then have a glass of wine. And, uh, scratch my knee. OK, let's go! Ah, our trouserless gun. Great. Where's the shooting star? No! Shooting's too good for him. I've got a better idea. No! Can't be no! I don't think I can watch this. Apparently millions of people do. Poor bastard. Yeah, well, he had it coming to him for... Shooting would have been a kindness. Yeah. Nothing worse than being a faceless copper in uniform three nights a week. <laughs> shoot me! Please, please, shoot me! Oh, you will be shot, mate. I'm tape. No more film for you. I can't take any more of this. Let's go. Yeah. Cover me. Ronnie, give us a tune. I don't know. Feel the mood. Ah, you will have a glass. George, what are we drinking to? The seventies, Gov. The seventies. And God bless them. Yeah, indeed, indeed.
they're too old for this foil. Yeah. See what I see? What? A puddle. Where? Over there. Let's splash through it, foil. No, let's go. Let's go! 